I wanted to write a, a movie about American identity, and uh, there's just a version of the country I feel like that, you know, when I hear the stories from my dad and my mom about how the country used to be that seemed a little less complicated and a little less, uh, a little less uh, conflicted about um, battling each other on every single level, whether it's politically or financially, or it's a little less complicated. So I, I just wanted to, to write a story about that ideal of America that um, I think is totally attainable and still is here in the country now. He was just saying, you know, I really want to uh, take a chance and, and call Gus and see if he'd do it. And he sent the uh, script to Gus. I remember it was, I remember vividly, it was uh, 8.30 in the morning LA time and he was getting on a plane. He's like, I just sent it to Gus. You know, uh, hopefully, you know, he likes it and, and if he doesn't want to do it, we'll figure something out. And at 11.30 a.m. I was talking to a friend and I got an email that said, so our movie's a Gus Van Sant movie now? And I, I think I threw up and then passed out and then woke up two days later to the reality of what, we, what was setting in. And um, I mean, it has literally been a dream sequence ever since. I play Dustin Noble, who is uh, uh, an environmentalist. He uh, works for a small environmental group called Athena. And uh, once he hears that the town's taking a vote, he uh, dives right in and wants to support these people and try to convince them that what they're doing is very important and they have an opportunity to set a precedent uh, politically for all the surrounding towns. And so he's very excited because uh, the town hasn't been able to vote before um, that he's dealt with. So he dives in and tries to convince these people to vote against uh, Steve and, and his company. Gus is talented beyond belief. Like I said, he was without a doubt my favorite director to watch and every movie he's done I think is, is perfect and a, and a piece of art. So you get to see why those movies are so good when you're with him. He's incredibly confident. Um, he's soft-spoken and quiet because the process is happening in his head and there's real, really no need to freak out or give a ton of notes and he just expects that the people who are doing their jobs will do their jobs and hopefully he does his and he certainly does his.